Item number, SCP-817. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-817 is held in a solitary confinement cell. In sight, numerous mechanisms for incapacitating SCP-817 are built into its cell, including sedative-loaded darts, pumps to fill the chamber with sleeping gas, pumps to remove oxygen from the chamber, a mechanism to flood the chamber with water or acidic or alkaline solutions, an electric current that can be run through the floor and walls, a mechanism to fill the entire room with quick-hardening foam, and a mechanism to introduce approximately 300 black flies to the room. SCP-817 has a known phobia of flying insects. The remainder of SCP-817's containment procedure varies based on its current abilities. The following procedures must be re-evaluated and revised. Every time SCP-817 undergoes a metamorphic shift, SCP-817's containment chamber is currently a simple padded confinement cell. Apart from the measures mentioned above, air conditioned to 18 degrees Celsius. SCP-817 is fed kilograms of cooked meat daily, as in its current form it consumes calories very rapidly. A detachment of at least five armed security personnel must be present whenever SCP-817 is released from its cell. Restraints must be placed on its wing structures and a specially designed muzzle on its head and neck. Description SCP-817 is a humanoid of indeterminate gender and variable physical features, although genetic testing suggests it was once a young Asian male. SCP-817 periodically undergoes radical metamorphic changes to its physiology. The delay between metamorphic events varies, but is usually about two to three months. These shifts and the physiological abnormalities produced cause SCP-817 enormous pain. However, it seems to suffer no actual damage to its body systems. Additionally, SCP-817 seems to be incapable of deliberately injuring itself. SCP-817 is mentally unstable, displaying severe psychotic symptoms. During psychotic episodes, which make up roughly 30% of its waking hours and are always triggered by its metamorphic shifts, SCP-817 is extremely hostile and will attempt to breach containment and attack personnel. In its current form, SCP-817 is 1.5 meters tall, lacks primary or secondary sex organs, and in place of arms, has limbs resembling the wings of a bat that fold around its torso and span 3 meters when fully extended. Bones and muscle are composed of unknown polymers, unrelated to any naturally occurring skeletal or muscular material and percent lighter than their baseline human counterparts. Because of this reduction in its mass-to-force exerted ratio, SCP-817 is fully capable of extended, unassisted flight using its wings, although doing so requires an enormous energy expenditure. Its extremely high metabolic rate keeps SCP-817's body temperature at a constant degrees Celsius and it appears to be suffering the appropriate degree of pain for a human heated to such a temperature, despite a lack of actual harm to its physiology. Additionally, while SCP-817's current neck and jaw structures appear humanoid, it has demonstrated the ability to suddenly jerk its neck forward and unfold its jaw, presumably as a feeding mechanism in lieu of arms. Addendum Notable past metamorphic forms of SCP-817. Tall and thin, with a reflective index of nearly zero. Required no sustenance beyond solar radiation. Efficiency of absorption estimated at percent. Vastly greater than any known biological or artificial method. Had no orifices whatsoever. Sensory, excretory, digestive or reproductive. Attempts to create solar panels based on its skin proved fruitless. Female in appearance, exuded from its pores, 
See attached image. Tranquilizers, sleeping gas, and oxygen removal proved ineffective. Successfully incapacitated by electric shock. Drainage added to containment chamber to counter the corrosive effects of Kept sedated and on an IV feed for the duration of this form. Natural feeding methods seem to involve injecting through data expunged, as fully dissolved, followed by direct absorption of nutrients through the skin. Suffered the same level of pain that constant exposure to would cause in a normal human. Translucent and able to phase effortlessly through objects. Tranquilizers failed. Sleeping gas failed. Successfully incapacitated by oxygen removal. Spent most of its time in this form attempting to scream. And two days in, began attempting to claw its own eyes out. Emitted a very small but measurable amount of gamma radiation. All attempts at study failed. 2.5 meters tall with thick, bulky musculature. Breached containment, killing and consuming personnel before Dr. incapacitated it accidentally by releasing a swarm of flies intended to feed musculature proved to be a complex and powerful hydraulic system powered by ten large hearts in its core pumping an unusual I-Core. Three additional hearts powered a second circulatory system, which served to provide the other hearts with oxygen. Any pressure applied to its skin caused significant pain, including contact with the ground. Addendum An analysis by Dr. E indicates even at the most conservative estimate, SCP-817 has expended less than 10% of the energy it has taken in since containment. Its method of energy storage is presently unknown. Dr. E hypothesizes data expunged and has recommended that SCP-817's rations be cut to significantly below the current estimated starvation level. Recommendations still pending review. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-816, Darwin's Erector Set, right now. Or, for the complete course, watch this playlist.